Okay, so I'm looking at um, calculating the Born Harbour cycle for three chlorides, and they're on here. So the lattice enthalpy of formation is given for cobalt one, cobalt two, and cobalt three chloride. So I'll need to draw a, uh, a Born Harbour cycle and calculate the enthalpy of formation for each chloride. Once I've got those, I can I can then look at and compare them and see which one is energetically more stable or which ones are energetically more stable uh, when they're produced from their elements and then which one is most likely. So um, I've done the first one here. Uh, so I've got cobalt being atomized and then it loses one electron. Uh, the chlorine uh, at this point here is atomized and it forms chloride chlorine atoms then it uh, is ionized so it picks up uh, an electron and then the two ions form cobalt chloride so i've gone ahead and i've put the uh, values on here and i can calculate the enthalpy of formation uh, so this is equal to uh, 427 plus 757 plus 121 take away 364 take away 700 which I've got there and it gives me a value of plus 241 so basically this is an endothermic process so the enthalpy of formation gives me a positive value so I'm going to look at now so keep that in mind I'm going to look at cobalt 2 chloride now so cobalt 2 chloride is here I'll just cover that up for the moment and uh, the enthalpy of formation, so cobalt plus chlorine gives us cobalt chloride, cobalt 2 chloride. Um, so I atomise it, that's the same as previously. I take an electron off, that's the same as previously, but I take a second electron off now. So I've got um, uh, to add that value in. The chlorine is atomised and I'm making two atoms of chlorine. So I'm going to have two lots of atomisation energy. I'm then going to make two chloride ions, so I'll have two electron affinities there, and then this is the formation enthalpy that's being uh, the lattice formation enthalpy that's being given. So when I do that calculation uh, here, so the enthalpy of formation equals four two seven plus seven five seven plus one six four zero plus two four two plus uh, oh in fact minus. 728 minus 2624 and that gives me a value of minus 286 so that's a negative enthalpy so that means that's an exothermic reaction okay and then i'm just going to look at the final one which is cobalt 3 chloride oh, which is not that one that's something else so cobalt 3 chloride as i've got here so um the enthalpy of formation, cobalt plus 3 over 2 Cl2 gives me cobalt 3 chloride. And I've got the atomization, first electron uh, ionization energy, second ionization energy, third ionization energy of cobalt. Nothing's happened here with chlorine. And then taking chlorine, and I'm going to make three chlorine atoms. Uh, the chlorine atoms then become three chloride ions, and this is the lattice enthalpy of formation. So uh, the same sort of thing, I can see, I can add all of those together and it gives me minus to 25 kilojoules per mole as the lattice enthalpy of formation. Okay, so if I compare them, I can see this is endothermic and these two are exothermic. So these two are more stable than this one and the one that will more likely form is this one because it's the most exothermic. So that should answer question B and C of that uh, question.